think the point that we were able to um, put across was that Skype is very much about connection, which is really the, the theme of this conference. And we wanted to talk about how Skype has a very special place in people's lives, that the communications that happen and the connections that happen on Skype are with a very intimate group of, of people's friends. Your average Skype user is your mom. It's, you know, your connections are your mom, your best friend, um, your most trusted colleagues. So it's a very small group of people that you choose to have face-to-face -face conversations with. And so we really wanted to help people understand how that could maybe work for brands in a way that also works for our users. Skype is a driver of the always connected um, culture. And um, we're, uh, we have about 145 million um, active users each month. And these people are constantly using the internet and new technologies to connect, be it through um, voice, video, group video calling, where up to eight of them can get on a call at once, um, SMS, um, file sharing, screen sharing. There's a lot of feature sets in this. So I think Skype is, is definitely one of the drivers that's helping people connect more. The future of, of digital and traditional marketing will be shaped by the trends we're seeing in, in connection um, in very dramatic ways. Um, gone are, are the days of top down, we're going to tell you what your brand is. Today, it's a place where consumers have the ability to help shape the brand and own the brand. We're moving rapidly into a space where brands have to completely understand what the consumer's motivations are and understand that branding means so much more than raising awareness. Oftentimes it's about activation, evangelism, engagement. Um, there's so much more that goes into building a brand as we kind of connect with the whole human being and technology is allowing us to do that. There's so much data and we all know that great marketers have gut instinct as well. And the balance of those is really important. What I would say is gut is always a hypothesis. I believe in a test and learn approach. And then once you're actually in the market and you're starting to get data that supports your hunch, then you can optimize to, to, to continually improve um, the results that you get. But at the end of the day, we're all beholden to data and better data will hopefully prove right or wrong our assumptions.